Indoor tanning is becoming a more and more prominent trend in young adults today, with the American Academy of Dermatology reporting that 59% of all college students admit to using a tanning bed. Brie Poole is no stranger to this fad. Brie has been tanning for five years now, since her senior year of high school. I probably tan at least uh, three days a week. The Skin Cancer Foundation says if you tan before age 35, you increase your risk for melanoma by 75%. They also report that more than 419,000 cases of skin cancer each year in the United States are linked to indoor tanning. In a very short amount of time, indoor tanning can have long-lasting negative effects on a person's skin. If this happens, you will find yourself visiting the dermatologist's office quite often. Russell Schutte has been tanning since he was in his 30s, and he has experienced several of the negative health effects that doctors have warned him of. I now have to go to a dermatologist every three months, um, whereas I used to go once a year. And I've had several spots um, taken off my body. I've had about five operations on my body to remove cancerous uh, growth. Dr. Lawrence Bushkell is a Knoxville dermatologist who sees firsthand how indoor tanning can affect a person's skin. He has a patient whose college-age granddaughter already has melanoma. We see teenage and, and young women in their 20s are now coming in fairly regularly with melanomas. And the only thing that changes is the tanning beds. For Dr. Bushkell, skin protection is very simple. People are living longer, and if you live longer, you're going to have to deal with the kind of lifestyle you did now. And it's so simple to wear sunscreens, wear a hat, and that's all you have to do. But for Bree, she's willing to take the risk. I mean, yeah, obviously skin cancer is a fear, but I guess there's so many different things out there. For UT Today, this is Cody Schutte reporting.